All right. Hello, everybody. Travis Chandler, Chandler Gaming, back here with the next episode of the Soldier Series of Mass Effect 3. Before we get the video, be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and turn on those notifications. You'd be notified of all my videos. That being said, we're just going to get down to it. Again, I'm smoking a little pot, and I should have took a hit before starting the game up, but oh well. I know what happened. We talked to the counselor. You see the bids of the Maw taking Okay. Well, let's see where everyone is. I wish I could have been there. the first order an alliance commander gives at the start of combat? Um, uh, I give up. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> All right, big guy. What do you call it when a Turia gets killed by a horrible spiky monster? Friendly fire. Come on, that one goes back to Shang-Chi. How you gotta respect the classics? How many humans does it take to activate a dormant mass relay? 602. 600 to vote on it, one to ask the Asari for technical help, and one to request a seat on the council afterward. How do you know when a Turian's out of ammo? He switches to the stick up his ass as a backup weapon. Why does the Alliance hire pilots with brittle bone disease? You're, you're shitting me! The Turian military has one about me? Oh, absolutely. I heard it myself from a private back on Palavin. All right, why does the Alliance hire pilots with brittle bone disease? So their Marines can beat someone in hand-to-hand -hand drills. <laughs> Damn, you need to tell James that one. Hey, what's the hardest part about treating a Turian who took a rocket to one side of his face? Figuring out which side took the rocket. Duh. <sighs> Never thought I'd see the Krogan and the Turians team up. Even the Reapers have to be a little nervous about pissing them off. I'd say more than a little. I'm sorry about Morden. He was a good man. Yeah, he was always running those tests. And one time he tagged me in the middle of the night to ask how many livers humans had. And this bump on my elbow? He said it was just a mild bone deformation, but I'm pretty sure he stuck a probe in there. Glad it was just your elbow. I always thought he was crazy. Useful, but crazy. Then he gives up his own life. <laughs> to save the Krogan. Doesn't do much to disprove the crazy theory, huh? <laughs> I guess not, but he was one of ours. So now that we got the Krogan and the Turians, what now? The Krogan help us turn the tide on Palavin. They can shoot at something useful for a change. Dig till we hit daylight, huh? Works for me. So how does it feel knowing Krogan will be singing songs about you until the end of time? I think it would be an honor. There's enough misery in this universe. It's nice to see something go right for a change. Can't say I've ever really witnessed history in the making like this. Well, except for Sovereign attacking the Citadel, and then there was the Collector base, but this one felt good. 
And let's hope Rex keeps running the show on Tachanka. Maybe we should hire a food taster for him. Imagine the carnage if some young, hot-headed Krogan took over. It could happen. I know. It's a chance we have to take, but I have to say, if it wasn't my own world that needed the help, I might have taken that Salarian deal. I could never bring myself to do that, no matter what I was offered. I admire your restraint, Shepard. It's nice when we can save the galaxy without destroying another race along the way. Let's hope our luck holds. Okay. Edie's in the core. See what she wants here in a minute. Commander, Admiral Hackett has requested your help for the Cerberus fighter base on Navaria. The Turians have given us top-level access to their combat data. Their ships are already moving in to help the Alliance fleet. You actually secured a Krogan Turian alliance. It's one thing to hear about Commander Shepard. It's another to see him in action. Okay, here's just a report on the Reapers. Pharaohs got hit. Zeus Hope got hit. But pretty much the Dalatras here, she's saying, Why didn't you just take my deal instead of helping the Krogan? I'm ashamed of you. Your fault, Morden died. Up to now. I am uploading data on the destroyed Reaper to the Turians. They are investigating possible Reaper structural weakness. Our data says Reaper capital ships such as Sovereign are of unique design. However, smaller Reaper destroyers bear similarities. That one was small? Relatively, yes. Ground attack ships are only 160 meters in height. Sovereign was approximately two kilometers. Well, keep talking to the Turians. If there's a chink in the Reaper's armor, we all need to know it. Well, that's cool, Edie, do that. Any sign of life? The Reaper destroyed by the Thresher Maw appears to be completely inert, Doctor. We would need to send in teams to be sure. Out of the question. Tell the Krogan to stay away. Busy? I have time if you'd like to talk. In fact, I could use the distraction. What's on your mind? How long it took the Reapers to eradicate the Protheans, and how long they'll need for us. It took them centuries to conquer the Protheans. We're not quite so widespread, but it would still take at least 100 years. It's selfish, but I keep thinking that if we fail... I'm only 109, Shepard. 
I could live to see the entire cycle come to an end. Don't drive yourself crazy about this, Liara. We're still in the fight. Only because you're still driving it forward. We finally have other leaders on our side, but none will take us as far as you can. Sometimes I wonder how you do it. I think of the people I care about. That helps keep me going. I'm glad I'm among them. I hope. Of course you are. I feel better already. Thank you for coming by, Shepard. Why don't we talk later? Okay. We need shields. Yeah. There we go. All right, there we go. I thought I had an upgrade. A new notification is available on the private messages terminal. And here's some audio logs, just stuff from the uh, uh, Shadow Broker stuff. You know, I don't really read this stuff, so. Let me see if Diana wants to talk about anything. Jennifer here, huh? This beats the hell out of reporting on the Milgram City Council. I don't think I've heard of Milgram. Which planet is that again? Beckenstein. It's right next door to the Citadel. I'm a colony kid. Commander, got a minute? What do you want to know? You've just implemented a cure for the Genophage. Millions of Krogan will start fighting the Reapers. What do you say to people who think humanity is starting another Rachni War and Krogan rebellions? It's easy to remember the worst of Krogan history, but you also need to remember the best. Meaning? The Krogan were heroes once, and they want to be heroes again. We're giving them that chance. Are you aware that Clan Erdnot is already petitioning the Council for an embassy and rights to a colony world? The Krogan are coming to the aid of a Council homeworld. That's more than a lot of species can say. I help them get the Genophage cure. Anything more is between the Council and the Krogan. There it is, straight from Commander Shepard. Until tomorrow, this is Diana Allers. Good night and stay strong. Okay, I'll cut that together with the rest of the segment and send it to command for approval. Okay. And we will check on shops. You settling in, Javik? I believe some of the crew wishes to be my friend. That is not my purpose here. Also, I find I need to wash my hands. The residue of this ship is strong. How so? I have been exploring. There are traces of those who lived on the Normandy before. I detected a human female. Her genetic structure was unnatural, as if artificially created. Sounds like Miranda. And a drill. There was illness in him. Thane. And the Krogan we met, who lived in these quarters. He was undergoing a metamorphosis. His memories were confused, not organic to his mind. There was great confusion and turmoil. I still can't wrap my head around that. We're reading information like you do. For my people, it was as natural as breathing. Evolution's an amazing force. Our scientists believed it was the only force in the galaxy that mattered. They called it the cosmic imperative. The strong flourished, the weak perished. 
the governments of your cycle seem concerned with ensuring the survival of all. Was this imperative just your scientist's opinion? Or did they prove something we don't know? The universe had already proven it. They only had to look around. And saw what exactly? Extinction is the rule of law in the cosmos. The natural order of things. The weakest species are doomed. It's the duty of the strong to protect the weak. Otherwise we'd have anarchy. But those who had nothing to offer would be eliminated. So conflict should be a way of life? Evolution demands it. The strong grow stronger by dominating the weak. It is for the greater good of all. Though I do not think your Asari approves of my beliefs. Liara? I think she just had a different idea about what Protheans were like. We are all a product of our time. Had I been born in this cycle, perhaps I would be the noble scholar she wishes me to be. You think you'd like that? It's a whole different line of work. I wouldn't know. Living a life of constant war. Taking life in every battle. I see how it could be tough to see outside the box. It is the only box I have known. It shapes me. A stone is shaped by the one who carves it. The stone has no choice in the form it will take. You and I, Commander. War is our sculptor. And we are prisoners to its design. Maybe not much longer. We win this, and we'll both be set free. Okay. And I'm gonna come down here and check on the shots. Esteban, for your shuttle being so stealthy and all, you sure do get shot at a lot. Well, the UT-47A stealth systems only internalize heat and high band emissions. So while few sensors can pick us up, our cover is blown as soon as someone looks up. Time for an upgrade. Most scanners and tracking systems don't operate in mid-range frequencies. Sure, maybe we've been shot at, but we haven't been shot down. Yet. Lucky for us, you're almost as good a pilot as you think you are. Well, yeah. There's that, too. Why some of the banter is funny? I don't. I don't know what it is. Um. We'll take you. You and definitely you. By the incisor, we definitely want that. We'll take that pistol cranial. Take the gauntlets.
Oops. It's okay. Okay. Now let's work on this weapon here. Okay. Now we're going to move on, I believe. What does Adams want, I wonder? She doesn't pilot the Normandy, she is the Normandy. No, she's a passenger in the Normandy, just like us. The ship was a spacefaring vessel before Edie even existed. Engineer Donnelly is correct. The Normandy SR2 was completely spaceworthy prior to my installation. See, Edie agrees with me. Edie's mind and the Normandy are a whole entity now. You couldn't just move the processors in the AI core to another ship. Engineer Adams is correct. Processes that contribute to my self-awareness are spread throughout the ship. See? Edie agrees with me. But unlike Edie, our brains couldn't have existed without our bodies. That is a requisite from being organic. You have to look beyond that limited definition of life. Joker pilots the Normandy. He doesn't take over Edie's body when he does that. When Edie controls the ship, she's piloting, just like Joker. Edie doesn't pilot the Normandy, she is the Normandy. Edie can direct the Normandy with her thoughts. She sees, hears, and feels through the ship's sensor arrays. The Normandy is her body. I've seen Edie's body, and its curves are a fine sight better than the Normandy's hull. So what do you think, Edie? Are we more than our thoughts? I'm done. Any more of this and my head's gonna explode. Commander Shepard. Commander Shepard, something you need to talk about? Nothing more, sir. Keep me posted. Hack it out. What they Oh, I don't know. I don't know. That's just stupid. Commander.
take care of the spider base real quick. now gets a boost in her powers and so will Gavik. I totally forgot about that. There we go. We're gonna max out war. We're gonna do damage. That's what I was gonna do, damage. All right. And then you, you need to get your overload chain, neural shock. contact. There's a small platform above the main landing pad. I can drop you there, but it's got to be now. Let's do it.
them. I'm just taking them out like they're nothing. Dude, he's stuck. He's stuck. I hope that wasn't the last of them. Looks like we found the control center. That is badass, man. He's stuck that way. Get it back here. Oh, here it is. Damn it. This will take a while. Commander, you've got enemies inbound and we can't wait. Someone's got to get those defenses down ASAP. Edie, front and center. As you command. Be ready, Commander. You're going to get swarmed. Commander, I've been flushed from cover. Retreating to minimum safe distance. No problem, Cortez. Get out of there. We'll wait for your all clear, then relay to the strike force. Morning. Morning. Security breach. Communications are no longer Spring down their defenses. We'll worry about that later. I just took them all out. Shepard, it appears that shutdown requires the synchronous command. Defense system deactivated. General Order 7 slash 7 triggered. Establish contingency defenses. Cerberus is deploying manual defenses to the landing pad, Shepard. And that's where we need to go. go shit I read you. Come in. There you are, Commander. Had to get through the interference. Area clear. Signaling to strike force. Wait. Scans picked me up something coming your way. Proximity alert. Deploying armed response. Unload! Give it everything you've got. Forgot to put the warp ammo. Anyone wounded? That shouldn't matter. Copy that, Lieutenant. Coming in to pick you up. I wonder why I wasn't doing the damage I was supposed to. I didn't have my warp ammo on. This was a major victory, Commander. A crippling blow to Cerberus operations in this sector. Now all we have to do is maintain control of the facility. Cerberus won't make that easy. And we won't make it easy on them. Thanks to you, we can use their own defenses against them. Tell your team they did good, Commander. You should be proud. Thank you, sir. That's all. Hack it out. Okay. Now what I think I'm gonna do is upgrade my guns. Adams would like to speak with you down in engineering. Oh, I really? What does he need? Kenneth, do you ever think about when we were abducted? Commander, I've identified a problem with our engines. A core overload could cause a plasma vent within the engineering compartment. Daniels, Donnelly, Edie, and I have been brainstorming and comparing notes. You see, the venting occurs when IES sinks are in a back cycle at the same moment the main core is at peak draw, such as from sustained kinetic. What Kenneth means to say is that we're pretty sure we can make the system safer. 
We just need a GX-12 thermal pipe. Unfortunately, we're cut off from Alliance supply chains. Could you keep an eye out for one the next time you're on the Citadel, Commander? I've got the specs right here. I'll look for one next time we go to the Citadel. Thanks, Commander. Okay. I think we can get that downstairs, actually. Because I think it's spec the requisitions. see the journal Yara. He wants to come talk to us. We better go see what she wants. She wants to talk in our cabin. Liara, you had something you wanted to discuss in my cabin? Yes, I'll be right up. Come on in. Thank you. Could we sit? I've been thinking about the knowledge we gathered on the Reapers, and how easily it could be lost again. So, I put a plan in motion to preserve things for the future. What's this? A record of the galaxy. Information on the Reapers, relays, different cultures, and blueprints of the Crucible. But there's one entry I wanted your opinion on. Which one? Your own. I'd be honored to have your input. How would you like history to remember you? You know me well enough to fill in the blanks, Liara. Are you sure? Yeah. I'd like it to be your call. I'll start by saying Commander Shepard was born on Earth, and fought harder than anyone else for his home world. Shepard could handle any weapon in the galaxy. The Alliance never saw a deadlier soldier. He was a soldier, and a leader. One who made peace where he could. And it was a privilege to know him. Careful this doesn't sound like a diary. I can't help myself. You're a good friend, Shepard. You've been there for me too, Liara. No, I haven't. I wish I could have joined you back on Ilium. You made up for it. Well, I suppose I did just write your name in the stars. That she did. That she did. 
I'm gonna relook at my armor. Guild regen speed. Melee. Health boost we'll take, okay. Weapon and headshot damage we'll take that one. Yeah, okay. Capacity. All right. There we go. My armor should be better spec now. Oh, the fish are swimming out again. You'd think with all the money that fucking um, EA put into this game, you'd think they would have fixed these flaws that were on the 360 version of this game. Because that was one of them. Oh, well, it's a funny little flaw. It's not like it's that big a deal, but still, it is kind of funny. What's here? Zeus Hope. Zeus Hope. Oh no, the exogenic scientists. We'll take them. Evasion successful. eluded. There it is. I found it. At least I found it this time. Faster than light jump successful. Rob by fueling. Evasion successful. All right. I found something. OK. 
ok there it is we found it That's another upgrade. Nice. Faster than light jump successful. Found it. Evasion successful. Eluded. I know a sucker. It at least faster than light jump successful. Evasion successful. I found the fuel at least. Reapers eluded. There it is. Faster than light jump successful. Nope, I can't get to it. Evasion successful.
Troopers eluded. I found something. Okay. light jump successful. Found it. There it is. Evasion successful. Reapers eluded. There we go. Okay. That's everything. Control, this is SSV Normandy. Are we clear to descend? Alliance Control, this is Normandy. We're headed to Bay 14, Zakara Ward. Are we clear to descend? What the hell's going on down there? Even if there were a station malfunction, they'd have backups online. I got a bad feeling here. Checking emergency channels. Hey, yeah, this is Joker. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, no kidding. Commander, there's a communication from Thane. He says it's important. I think you'll want to hear this. Put him through. Shepard, the Citadel is under attack. Cerberus troops are everywhere and they're in control of the docks. Are you safe? No. I had to evade their commandos at the hospital. I'm in a Presidium storefront. Did Ashley make it out? We got separated. She said she had to protect the Council. I'm going to CSEC headquarters. Why CSEC headquarters? It's been compromised, and CSEC's response depends on it. As long as Cerberus is holding the headquarters, they have the station. All right. Joker, get us away from the docks and close to CSEC HQ. We'll deploy in the shuttle. Aye, aye, Commander. Okay, Liara Javik. Then we're going to detonate. That's what I was going to do. Detonate with you. Okay. <laughs> then we'll work on your warp ammo next.
Shepard. I saw those Cerberus troops on you. I thought you were done for. Bailey, what are you doing here? Getting my ass shot off trying to retake headquarters. Cerberus took it in the first push. We gotta kick them out of there. Everyone in C-Sec's flying blind without the network. Is this the situation everywhere? Are the counselors even alive? They split up. I'll know more if I can access the terminal inside. Can you get us in? I'll get the door. If no one interrupts me with a bullet this time. CSET Network Access, courtesy of Cerberus. How's that gonna help? Cerberus has control of the main channels, but I can set up a new one. Without it, our people have no plan and no chance. Hello. What have you got? A warning from Counselor Valern. He's supposed to be here, meeting with the Executor. Be on guard. The likelihood of betrayal from within is high. Not a lot else. But if he's inside... One counselor's better than zero. Where am I headed? The Executor's office is defensible. He may have gone to ground there when the shooting started. I'm on it. Just a sec. There. Now we can talk by Omnitool. Go! Bait, did you hear all that? Yes. I'm nearing the building, but running is difficult. Another piercing mod. Troops in the lobby. They were dug in. I can see more through the cameras. They're all over the station. Yeah, I'm just looking around here. You never know. They might have a hidden item here somewhere. Like that. And this. I see Cerberus doesn't care about its victims dying with dignity. Okay. Also. 
also turned on each other. The Reapers use them to spread fear. Do not be afraid, Asari. It gives the Reapers one more weapon. too far. If I wouldn't have thrown it as far, I would have got it. We've got to be close now. There is damage here. piercing mod for the sniper rifle that time. Bailey, looks like they got the executor and two Solarian bodyguards. If you don't see the counselor's body, don't count him out yet. Found him. He looks unharmed. Get him somewhere safe. Don't even think about it. Shepard, he's going to kill us all! That remains to be seen. I mean, Utina, he's staging a coup. He's got the other counselors now to hand over to Cerberus. Three on one, pal. It's over. No. No, it's fun. They needs medical help fast, and I need to take care of an assassin. He must be going after the rest of the council. Get the word out. Odina's trying to seize power. I've got to get to the counselors. They're being taken to a shuttle pad on the Presidium. Start driving. I'll try to raise them on the comm. I've got a fix on the council's position. I'm sending it to your car. Good work, Bailey. 
We're almost there. Contacting the council? Negative, their guards are dead. But we've still got vital signs on the council's transponders. Where are they going? The shuttle pad above Shalmar Plaza. Dane is with them. If he can get them in range of that assassin, this is all over. On my way. Okay, yeah, just looking around. Okay, I'm in the shaft. Hang on, this will be a fast climb. Tell me that assassin hasn't reached the council. He's trying, but I'm making his elevator stop on every floor. Nice. I found our friend. Kill his elevator. There's a power conduit beneath it. Let's 
see him catch up now. Incoming phantoms. I should have done the other two, damn it. There. Shepard? I see them. Jump! What was that? Gunman, get down! <laughs> Blocking our escape. He's with Cerberus. Everybody, hang on. Shepard, what's happening here? You know me better than this, Ash. I knew the old Shepard before Cerberus. Right now, I'm not sure who I'm dealing with. We don't have time to negotiate. You've been fooled, all of you. Budina's behind this attack. The Salarian Counselor confirmed it. Please, you have no proof. You'll never do. There are Cerberus soldiers in the elevator shaft behind us. If you open that door, they'll kill you all. We've mistrusted Shepard before, and it did not help us. We don't have time to debate this. We're dead if we stay out here. I'm overriding the lock. I'm gonna regret this. No. You're not. All right, Skipper. Dina, step back from the console. To hell with this! Gun! Get the council back and cover that door. The door! Bailey? Made it as fast as we could, Shepard. Looks like you uh, took care of things. Something's not right. You said Cerberus was targeting us. Where did their soldiers go? Cerberus was right here, but they beat feet into the Keeper Tunnels when they figured out we were coming. Sorry, Counselor. I'll say it plain. Shepard just saved the lot of you. Then you have saved my life twice now, Shepard. I owe you both a personal debt, and one on behalf of Palavan. You don't owe me anything, Counselor. Times like this, we all stand together. Commander, do you have any idea why the elusive man would do this? No, I don't. But I plan to find out. All right, people. Principals are evacuated. We got a tunnel and a million more places to secure. Move it! Yes. Think 
things didn't go as planned. The Council's still in control of the Citadel and Udina's den. Udina was expendable. Now what? There are other plans in motion. I'll fill you in when you return. I'm surprised you let Shepard get the better of you, Ling. It won't happen again. Hmm. We'll see. We looked over every centimeter of those tunnels, Shepard. Your Cerberus pal is made out of smoke and mirrors. He likes to fight. He'll show up again. Pardon me if I'm not reassured by that. We can't even get an ID on him. He released a VI into the Citadel system that erased footage of him wherever he went. I guess he didn't trust that Adina's plan would come together. That reminds me, we got your friend Thane into Huerta Memorial. He's in for surgery. Apparently, uh, there's complications. Do you think he'll make it? I caught that they didn't have much drill blood on the Citadel. I notified his next of kin, his son, Koliat. He was the right blood type, but I don't know if he made it in time. We're pretty sure the route to the hospital is safe from Cerberus if you want to see him. Uh, I'd go now. I'll get on it. Oh, and you can tell him the Salarian Counselor says he's a hero. It just, uh, I don't know, make things easier for him? All right. <laughs> Well, we got all that done. I'm going to call it for this video. So hope y'all had fun this episode. I did. Um, and I'll just see y'all next episode.